Hi everyone, this is Tucker Jobs and welcome to an experiment video for FM21. Now, have you ever come across a regen or a player that you want to buy, but you was put off by the fact that their striking ability or their finishing is pretty low, especially if it's a striker, all right? Every other attribute is absolutely fantastic, just what you want. But then his finishing is 10, 9, 11. You think, no, I don't want to spend that money on the player, on a striker, who hasn't even got 15, 16, 17 uh, finishing. Well, I'm going to squash those thoughts, and hopefully with this little experiment with some of the world's best strikers, I'll show you that uh, the finishing stat or attribute isn't actually all that it is meant to be. Right, welcome back then, guys. So the aim of the video is to find out if the striking ability... Uh, or attribute is as important as you think it is, or you think it should be. So I've gone to some of the world's best teams, some of the world's best strikers, and knocked their finishing attribute down to five. Five, all right? Some defenders, most defenders may have better striking ability than that. So five, four, Salah at Liverpool, Mbappe, okay, for PSG, Bayern Munich, Lewandowski, and Barcelona's Messi all now have five finishing. Shocking. <laughs> I've uh, also locked their attributes as well, so there's no chance of them um, increasing that attribute up to seven, maybe eight. All right, it's not going to make a difference. But um, yeah, I'm going to go three years. So three seasons with them as the prime striker. They're going to be locked in position. All right, on this tactic, it's it's a nap tactic. It's just been tweaked a little bit uh, by me. Obviously, I use this in my games, and uh, also uh, it's good because I had the one striker. All right, so I can showcase the one striker whose uh, attribute has dropped down to five with the finishing. Um, so yeah, hopefully you will see that it's not that important, and you should not be all right put off by the fact that this incredible player that you want doesn't have the finishing stat. Or attribute, because he'll still do a job. And I'll prove that right now. Right, welcome back. So, all of the strikers, like I said, is uh, all have five finishing attributes and they've been locked in. All right, so they haven't changed. They've been locked in position. So, they are the prime striker for all of their teams uh, for the next three years or for the three years that, that I've simulated. All right, that's been done now. So, uh, let's start off with Liverpool, see how they actually got on by having. A striker up front with only five finishing. So, first season, champions. Second season, champions. Third season, champions. All right. So, yeah. Okay. Let's have a look at Salah himself. So, this season, he actually managed to score 36 goals in all competitions. All right. Let's have a look at his career stats. So, yeah, the later season, obviously, with him only having five finishing, he scored 38 goals in all competitions. The season before that, 65. Season before that, 74. All right. So, <laughs> yeah, you decide for yourself. All right. Absolutely fantastic for uh, Salah. He, he can't finish. Yeah, he's banging in 74 goals a season. 65 and 38. He's topped pretty much scoring records as well. I'm pretty sure the Premier League top scorer, top goal scorer. So Erling Haaland actually came first on that one. They got the, uh, yeah, that's unfortunate, but it is only in the Premier League. Overall competitions, I'm pretty sure Salah did pretty well. But for the first and second season of this experiment, Salah came first. Absolutely incredible. All right. So, yeah. Okay, next player, Mbappe. All right, so, like I said, by finishing three seasons, how did he do? So, the season that we've just done, all right, 47 league goals, 70 in all competitions. Season before that, 34 league goals, 54 in all competitions. And the first season, 41 league goals and 59 uh, over all competitions and then the league one top goal scorer okay Mbappe 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 so yeah okay next up Lewandowski all right it's not quite as fast as the other two is a bit bigger all right but again he's only got five finishing 
He hasn't got his non-team finishing anymore. He's got his bravery. He's got his composure. Yeah. How did he do? There we go. 52, 33, and 50 in just the league. All right. The season we've just done, 74 goals in all competitions. Before that, 50 goals in all competitions. And before that, 78 goals in all competitions. All right. And again, the Bundesliga top goal scorer. Apart from Haaland, right, and then he moved to obviously Man U. Uh, Robert Lewandowski got two. Two out of the three, he came first. And uh, Haaland, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good striker, Haaland is. All right, but he's got, um, well, he's got 19 finishing. My guys have only got five. <laughs> but it doesn't make a difference. When, if you've got a good team, it helps. Yeah, If you've got a good tactic, it helps. Of course it does. But are you telling me that? If he had more better finishing, that is going to be that much different. The lads just scored 78 goals in one of his seasons in all competitions. You saying that that's going to be absolutely smashed out of the park to 100 goals because yet no, no. All right, the finishing attribute is not as important as you think. All right. So next up and finally, Barcelona. All right, with Messi again. Only got five, guys. Only got five. Yet, in his career stats, obviously, his attributes have all been locked. That's why at 34, five years old, he looks like he can still uh, still be amazing. So, uh, yeah, anyway, it's all about the attributes. all about the finishing. So, don't, don't mind about anything else. 66 goals in all competitions. Season before that, 67. Season before that, 47. Still doing the job. Still being effective. Okay, World Player of the Year. All right, the year that's just been 2022. Messi, Mbappe, Mbappe, and Lewandowski. All three strikers, five finishing. Year before that, Salah, Lewandowski, Messi. All the same strikers again. Year before that, Lewandowski, Salah, and Messi. All right, so these players are still performing absolutely fantastic okay champions league european champions cup bio munich just won it then liverpool and then bio munich again so these teams at the forefront have strikers with only five finishing and you're still winning competitions i've looked through liverpool you're still winning the cups all right Bayern, you're winning the cups the domestic cups and bappe with uh, psg all right you're still doing everything right and it's not like the whole teams are picking up the slack. Because after Lionel Messi, all right, 66 goals, Coutinho and Depay, obviously, I set it so they buy their own players in. All right, so I can't, I can't just leave it three years, though they'll end up with no one. Um, but 12 and 10. So you know that they're not getting subbed that much because the assistant manager can only see a five attribute on the finishing. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, 66 goals. All the other players are the same. Okay. So, yeah, you can decide for yourself. This was purely because a few of my games, obviously a few of my personal games, one that I'm actually playing now, is I nearly not brought a player because he only had 11 finishing. Yeah, he was young. He was 19, 18. Um, great striker. English striker as well. So, it, it was fantastic for obviously the homegrown and everything like that but i was nearly put off by not buying him because of that low stat low attribute i brought him anyway cost me 40 odd million all right worth it best player in the world now he's only got 13 finishing best player in the world scoring 60 70 goals like these lot obviously in a world-class team but again you can think well the world class in their league all right, so if you've got a great team in a lower league or a different division, it's still relatively applicable that this will work, surely. All right, good tactic, good team. It yeah, don't matter about your finishing. does not matter. So, yeah, hopefully that's given you a little bit of insight in case in the future one of these strikers pops up and you think, ah, I'm not going to buy him. He looks so good, but I'm not going to buy him because he's only got 10 finishing. Buy him. Buy him. All right, you can obviously train them. You can get those finishing attributes up a few points. 
But don't be disheartened by the fact that it's only 12 or 13 in a world-class team. It's still going to do the job. It's still going to do the job. So hopefully this has helped you out, guys. Hopefully it's a little bit different to the videos I normally do and you enjoyed it. So, uh, yeah, this is Tucker Jobs. Subscribe, like, comment, uh, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.